Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 116 that anyone who dies doing shirk or so partners with God that sin will never be forgiven. Any other sin if Allah wishes he may forgive. Hope that answers the question. Can we have the next call please? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Assalamu alaikum brother, I'd like to congratulate you on the work that you do. Also, we feel privileged to have you here in England. It's been long overdue. Um, brother, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Um, my husband is following Sufism, um, and I'm sure there are things uh, that are good, you know, good practices in Sufism. But unfortunately, the type that my husband is following is having an immensely detrimental effect on, on our marriage. Um, I would just like to know if you can tell me how I could possibly tackle this situation. Uh, as you rightly said, there are different types of Sufism. And the type which is uh, really deviated from Islam is associating partners with Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we find some of the ignorant Muslims, they even go to graves and they worship the graves and they intercede uh, on behalf of these people who have died. So all this is wrong. What you have to do, sister, is that uh, if you give him books talking about Tawheed, about the oneness of God, or you can give some video cassettes talking about on these topics, inshallah, and if you read these books and try and convince your husband that shirk is the biggest sin in Islam and you should stay away from that, then inshallah we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give that to your husband. Then we have the next call, please. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, hi, I'd just like to say a Prophet, peace be upon him, said that uh, whenever you have something good to say, you should say it.